I'm Rohit, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Sometime, customer ask me how to set up AWS DataSync to transfer data from Amazon Elastic File System to my Amazon Simple Storage Service Bucket in the same region. Today, I will show you how to do this. Let's get started. Let's go through the steps to transfer data from Amazon EFS to an S3 bucket using AWS DataSync. Create a task in DataSync and then choose EFS as your storage location type. In destination location, you will see the option to choose Amazon S3 bucket. When the task is in available state, you can initiate the transfer of files from Amazon EFS to your S3 bucket. Now let's set up the configuration. As you can see, I'm already logged in to the AWS management console. From here, Navigate to the AWS DataSync console. In the navigation pan, choose tasks. You will see the option for create task. In configure source location, choose create a new location. Under configuration, for location type, select Amazon EFS file system. Choose the EFS file system region and EFS file system ID that you want to configure as a source location. For mount path, enter your mount path. I choose forward slash in my configuration. This will be the source folder where the file will be copied from. For subnet and security group, choose a subnet that includes a mount target for your Amazon EFS file system and the security group that can access the preceding file system. Choose next. To configure the destination location, choose the location type. I choose Amazon S3 bucket as a location type. For S3 bucket, choose the Amazon S3 bucket that you want to use as an endpoint. For S3 storage class, choose a storage class you want to transfer object directly into. I choose standard storage class. For folder, Provide an optional object prefix in Amazon S3 bucket. This will signify a folder name and is the S3 prefix or folder that DataSync used to write data to an S3 destination. In an IAM role, choose the Amazon Identity and Access Management role for sufficient S3 permission. It's a best practice to auto-generate a role using the console. For configure settings, configure the task settings as needed for your use case. I choose the default option. Choose next to verify the task detail. Choose create task to create a task. Now the task is created and is in available state. We will start the task to transfer files from Amazon EFS to the S3 bucket. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.